This is where life gets difficult without using a specific technology. So we have what we want to achieve on our website is when we go to small screen, we basically want to add this hamburger menu. And when we click on it, basically we get our navigation links, right? Because on small screen, we might not have enough space. Now there's two things you can do. You can either jump down this content down here. That's fine. But you see on a lot of websites that they use that hamburger. So let's implement that. But I really want to emphasize that this is way more difficult to do just using CSS than it should be. Okay, because normally what you would use for these interactive things is something called JavaScript, right, which is a programming language and you can use it together with HTML and CSS to make your life easier and to create these awesome interactions. I'm going to quickly do a quick cover of that if you want to add that method. And I'm going to go over just the basics for you uh, just to make your life easier because the method that we're going to use with CSS is just not that nice. Okay, but let me show you both ways. So first of all, what we're going to do uh, is we're going to have to jump back to our index.html. Okay, so come here together with me. And what we're going to have to do is add, let's go here, literally down after the UL. And I want to add a burger menu. So I'm going to create a div called burger. And here, I'm just going to drop in three spans like this. Okay, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to style these. So I want to make them look like that burger. And using um, using spans is actually a very simple method that you can do this. So what we're going to do is basically I want to activate this only when I'm on mobile. Okay, so we can go down here and create a media query. Uh, so the only place that we have to activate this is when we are on a mobile screen. So what we're going to do is I'm going to create a media. I'm going to say screen and max width. And let's see kind of where our code kind of our website kind of collapses and goes into a mobile view. So let's see how this flex box be behaves. So I'm going to just go down here like this and around 800. So eight. 42 ish, it jumps down to this mobile view. Okay, so let's do 842 pixels. Okay, and what I want to do here is basically make that burger menu. Uh, so we can grab the burger span. And the way I'm going to create it is I'm going to add some padding. I'm going to say 0 0.2 rem and 2 rem like this. So this is going to be the length of it, basically. And let's add a background to it. Now we can use that var, the variable that we created all the way up here. So I want this gray text color. Okay, so all I have to do is just say gray text. And press OK. All right, next step, what I want to do. Uh, let's take a look. Can we see anything? Let me go out of this view. And actually, we need to go on mobile view to see this because this is the only place um, where this is going to be viewable. Well, we cannot see anything yet. Uh, so let's also get rid of this thing here. Okay. Um, because what we want to do is actually get rid of this nav, make it full screen. And when we click on that burger, it's going to slide out. All right. So what I'm going to do is basically remove this from this position because I don't want this to be here. Make it full screen, move it off the screen. And whenever we press this burger span, uh, it's going to appear. So the way you can do that is, well, let's select the nav links because that's what we want. And let's actually put this here on this side of the screen. All right, so we can kind of see what's going on. Let me make more space. And what I want to do is get the nav links like this. I want to add the background. I'm going to say var. I think we have a background here, background color. And there we go. Okay, so that's step one. Let me make sure. This kind of jumps to mobile view. Okay, 
So that's step one. What, what else I want to do is add a position fixed to this like that. And then let me make sure everything is working properly because I don't see, okay, we have to add a space here because I, I was confused. I didn't see even this burger appearing here. There we go. So now we can see that we added the background car color to the nav links, which is this one. And we can also see this burger span here. Okay, and my apologies. <laughs> Sometimes, see, but you know what? I'm gonna leave this in because some, everybody makes these small mistakes and they wonder why their code doesn't work. So as soon as I added the position and the background, I'm like, okay, something is wrong. Something doesn't work properly. And just a space here messed everything up. So, hey, happens to everybody. Okay, now that we <laughs> so now that we can actually see this uh, burger, I'm quickly gonna actually let's get rid of this. I want to jump back to this and explain everything. So for now, let's just leave a background color right there. Okay, I kind of want to make this look like a burger. So what I want to do is just add some margin between them. Margin, let's do 0 0.5 rem, just top and bottom, and zero rem left and right. Okay, but the problem is that these come in one line. So we can change that by adding this play block because uh, basically these pans are by default displayed in line. If you remember, they just all it means is they just come one after each other. They don't jump to another block. They don't take up uh, another uh, basically full width of the screen. So if we add this play block, it's going to jump down like that. And as you can see, it already looks very nice. So we, with the padding, we are basically kind of giving it the height of it and with, with this margin we're basically just spreading them out by giving a 0 0.5 rem on top and bottom okay so we have it that's <laughs> we we did it super fast okay this is kind of all you need to make this work okay step one has been complete now what i want to do is get rid of the snav links and move it off screen so basically again with animations what you want to do is kind of make this look the way you want and then transitioning it in so it arrives to the position. So I'm just starting to make my nav links look the way I want on mobile, which is going to be adding this, this, this fixed position on it and then basically making it the whole width of the screen. So width 100 and height 100. percent like that and we can just add a position fixed all right so i want to make sure this is always on top okay now this doesn't work yet because we still need to define a top and a, a left or right position so let's say top i'm just going to say zero and left zero there we go so it covers up the whole screen perfect so this is what i want now with these texts i don't want these to be like this uh, so what I can do is just go here and I can say nav links a tag color is going to be white this time. Whoops. I don't want to save anything color white. There we go. We're going to say font size and I'm going to say var text like this to make it a bit larger and the text decoration. I actually am going to add it back and say underline. All right, there we go. Now I want to move these around so I can, this is already display flex, I believe. Um, or is it not? Because I'm wondering if we can move these. Uh, basically what I want to do is make this come down like this. Actually, nav links is the one that has a display flex on it. So all I need to do is just change the direction of it. Flex direction to column. There we go. Uh, and do align item center to put it in the center. Lovely. I think that's all I'm gonna need. Uh, I'm not really happy with this. This could be bigger, I guess, on mobile. Let's do maybe a size of a header tree. All right, something like this. Make this super easy and clickable. Okay, there we go. Awesome. But as you can see now, when we go on mobile, well, this takes effect right away. 
So what I want to do now is move it off the screen. And when we press the burger, it's going to slide in like this. All right. So again, I'm doing the finished state of how I want things to look. And then I just move it away. And when we click, it's going to transition in nicely. So I can just go to the left here and add, uh, just push it away by 100%. Okay, 100%. All right. So 50% is going to make it halfway off screen and 100% is going to make it all the way off screen. Lovely. Okay, so that's good. That's step one. However, the problem is that with only using CSS, you're going to find it very difficult to make this clickable and to make things react to it. But there is a hack, my friends. Uh, it looks ugly again, but let's do it. <laughs> so what we're going to do is go back to the index. And what you would want to do is basically add an input right above the the thing that you want to animate in this case this ul okay so let's go up here above and i'm going to create an input input and this is going to be type checkbox so what <laughs> what's going to happen it's very small it's here but what's going to happen is basically in css we can check if this is checked we want to we can create some animations and when it's unchecked we can uh, undo those animations okay so basically what we can do is we can say input if input is checked uh, then do something all right so what we do is we place this input on top of this burger and then remove the opacity of it to kind of fake everything <laughs> so i know it's weird but hey sometimes you gotta do nasty things so here's i'm gonna also add a class to this i'm gonna say menu check okay that's all we need here so now the goal is to basically put this on top of each other. So we can get that menu check. I'm gonna go here and say menu check. We're still in the media query, by the way. So everything needs to be added here, okay? So let's add a position absolute and I'm kind of just gonna try to position this on top of it. Uh, let's do top 50% like that. And let's do right 5%. All right, so that's kind of there where I want. Let's also transform and translate this back by adding 5% and minus 50%. Okay, so there it is. Okay, it's kind of there. Let's also maybe add some width to this. Make it a bit larger, 5 rem. Let's do a height of 5 rem as well. There we go, that makes it way bigger. Okay, it kind of covers up everything. Oh, that looks pixelated. It looks ugly, but it's okay. So what I also want to do is when we hover over this, I want the cursor to be pointer. So it looks clickable. There we go, looks clickable. And lastly, I want to remove the opacity and set this to zero so we cannot see it. Okay, so now it kind of looks like we're clicking on this thing, but we are actually not. Okay, let's try something. You ready? I'm gonna go down here and here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this, this menu check like this, menu check, right? The actual input and we're gonna say checked. So we can check if it's checked. <laughs> and if it's checked, I can add this plus symbol and basically this is gonna target, target the thing below it. So this UL so I'm basically chaining this together. I apologize for the Facebook message. Let me turn that off. Um, plus, so we add a plus and we say nav links. All right, so basically when my input is checked here, I want something to happen to this nav links, okay? And what I wanna happen to this nav links is I wanna give a transform and translate this back to minus 100%. Now I wanna show you why we do this, translate minus 100% and why we added a left 100% here in just a bit. But let's give this a shot. When we click, as you can see, perfect, it works, but we cannot close it anymore. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so we also have to add, uh, basically we need to add a Z index so we, want to make sure that that button is still on top here. So let's kind of remove this for now. 
hit save. And what I want to do is go here and say Z index. Now I'm going to give it something huge, uh, something like 100. I always want to make sure that this stays on top. Okay, so now we can click it. We cannot see it, but we can click it. Okay, so what I also want to do uh, is this burger. I want to be able to see this burger. So what we can do is kind of copy this whole thing from here and paste it down here. And all I want to do is change this to burger span. So I want to affect the burger spans. And all I want to do for this one is just change the background color to white. Hit save. And now as you can see, nothing happens because this plus symbol only targets the one below it. So this only targets this. So if we want to target this, we can use this squiggly symbol here. And I apologize that the, I cannot figure out the name of it, uh, but it looks like this. If you hold shift and it's the, uh, the button right next to your one on your keyboard. If we hit save, all right, well, something is still messing up. And the way we can fix that for this to show up, as you can see, it doesn't show up. We can kind of do the fix that we did with this uh, navigation here because it kind of blocked it and we didn't see this box shadow anymore. So all you have to do is just go up here and add a burger. So we get the whole thing and add a position relative. All right, and that's gonna make this visible. Okay, so now it's everything is visible, everything is nice. And the way, okay, let me kind of show you what's wrong because I talked a bit about it and then I kind of went away from it. So what, why not just add a translate up here, right? Let's get rid of this. Uh, actually, let's add the animation and then I'll show you. So let's go to the, uh, what do we want to animate? We want to animate the, nav links, right? So let's go to the nav links. And basically I just want to transition. No, not transform. Transition the transform. This is the thing we want to animate for like one second ease. Okay, there we go. Take a look at that. We are animating this nicely. Perfect. And as you can see, that changes dark as well. Okay, so Basically what I want to say, let me just get rid of this. Why not go here, have this at zero like this, and then just add a transform and move it away like that. Transform, translate X by 100%, right? That kind of does the same thing as you can see, 50% and 100%. Well, the problem is that we're animating this transform. So initially, it's going to start from top zero, left zero. So when we're going to go on mobile, it's going to transition that there. All right, as you can see, because this is our original position. And then this is the property that we're animating. I'm on YouTube, I'm sorry. <laughs> so as you can see, we are animating that. So that's why we want to use left 100% because transform is the property that we're going to animate. And when we go on mobile, we don't want to have this weird jump happening. Okay. So what we do is we add 100 here and then we don't translate this at all. There we go. So when we go on mobile now, we don't have any issues. However, moving it back here is totally fine. So I can say transform, translate, and I want to move it back to its original position. So now we moved it left by 100, so we have to move it back by 100. And what we can do is just say translate X and we can move it back by minus 100%. So we do the exact opposite. And now everything works properly. Pro properly. There we go. Okay, so I told you this is a bit tricky and it's not that nice, unfortunately, uh, but it works. So when we're on desktop, as you can see, what we should actually do is hide that, hide that input because we don't want to see that. Okay. Uh, so what we, what we can do is just go up here. All right. So maybe down here below the keyframes and just basically get rid of everything. So let's grab burger and we can also grab the menu check. 
and we can add a display of none. Okay, so we we don't see anything. But when we go on mobile, we want to make sure this is visible. So we can go down here again, and here on the burger, we can add a display of block, all right, to make it visible again. There we go, so it's visible. And we can do the same thing to the menu check. All right, just display block this. All right, so it's visible, so it's there. Okay, so we fixed all the issues. All right, so we removed it on desktop and we added back display block, so, so we can click on it. Great. All right, is there something else? We can also do some, <laughs> you can also do some weird animations to this if, if it's something you want to experiment with. And this is again, just kind of messing around with these lines and moving them around. So here's one that's gonna work fine for you. Uh, we can copy this over again, paste it down here. And I wanna animate the burger span and I wanna gr grab the end child, so the first one, okay? And I can transform and translate this transform uh, let's do actually let's rotate it around so let's do z 45 degrees and let's maybe push it down translate y push it down by like 300 percent of its size hit save as you can see it goes in that weird direction so down like that okay we can kind of copy paste this again and i kind of want this to happen to the third one as well but here i want to add a minus here and a minus there. So that's gonna make kind of like an X symbol. Okay, but what do we do with the middle one? Well, let's just get rid of it. So copy this again. I'm gonna move it actually up here. For this one, all I wanna do is just add a opacity of zero. All right, so the middle one is gonna get removed. Okay, that looks weird because we need to switch this to two. <laughs> there we go, we get kind of this weird X looking thing. Okay, you can kind of experiment with this to make it look nicer if you want, but that's kind of what we have. Uh, so let's also add a transition between these. So we can go to the burger span and I want to add a transition. So basically I want to transition everything here because we're messing around with opacity and also transform. So all, let's do 0 0.5 seconds and ease. Hit save, hit it and take a look. We have a nice looking animation to this. Lovely, so we implemented a full responsive burger menu with a slide out. Awesome.